hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel so i was thinking that we're sort of in like the summer's come out everyone's feeling a bit festivaly vibe so i went and bought myself some gypsy shine glitter and i thought well why don't you just give your hands some festival content i've got my little mirror pa pow so if you see me just casually boop it's just to check that you guys are gonna be on fleek when you follow this tutorial so i've got a couple of bags of my makeup and this is the sort of stuff i use every day on and off sort of thing and um, so i'll be diving into like my clear storage just to see if there's anything that i can make myself look a bit more like festival mm. however to start off i'm gonna be like obviously taking my makeup off at the moment so to prep my skin and 40 year old me will be so thankful for this i hope we gonna be losing we're gonna be using Lizzo. Lizzo is such a great brand. I absolutely love it. The products are amazing. They're, they're not too expensive in the range of skincare, but they're not cheap, if that makes sense. So there's sort of a middle balance. I really, really like that. So I'm going to be using the Soothing Eye Lotion, but I don't need to use that today because I got eyelash extensions and I don't have anything on my eyes at the moment. But I will be using the Instant Tonic after I've removed my makeup. And then I'm gonna be removing it with this hot cloth cleanser and a towel, like a flannel thing, and just buffing it all in, and then taking it off, and then putting this on. And then just going in with the Hydrogenous L'Oreal moisturizer, because I literally swear by this. I've had moisturizers by like MAC, everything. And I've got my Lazo one here, but I pick this over this because this is really, really heavy, but this is really light and it soaks into the skin. And it's like nine pounds, so it's a winner. So the next clip will be me completely bare face. <gasps> Watch out, honey, it's gonna be an experience. I don't think I'm ready to share with y'all, but we're gonna go there. So sit back, relax, get your cup of tea and just enjoy even if you don't create this just watch me and i must do one of those like disclaimer things where it's like i'm not a makeup artist obviously i'm not um but we're just gonna roll with it and see how we turn how it turns out i don't really know myself i don't know what i'm doing and what colors i'm using it's all a bit up in the air and i don't like that so we need to bring it back down to the chair where the magic is gonna hopefully happen so I'ma see ya. So as you can see, I've just kind of dumped everything everywhere. I've got a couple of palettes here that I think might be good for this. Got some eyeliners. I've just dumped everything everywhere. This isn't everything, but I just thought, uh, what can I think I might possibly need? Obviously not nail polish. So that can go back in there. So I got my nails done, the raw gel. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what we can work with here. I'm not really too sure, I'm a bit scared. So as you can now see, I'm completely barefaced. Ah, God help y'all. If you need to go to spec savers, if the rate rises, I know why, girl. I know why. So I have put on my trusty Hydrogenius. It is a genius. Um, and I'm all about skincare, really. So the next thing I'm going to be moving on to is the That Girl Primer by Benefit. And I do have bigger, like, bigger tubed primers, however, I just think the little ones are an absolute good sense. I have no idea where all my bigger ones have gone because I love these for going away and everything. So I'm just going to replace my mirror over here so that I can actually see and talk to you guys at the same time. Works. So I'm just going to pop this primer on. It's a brightening primer and obviously if you're at a festival, it's the summer, you want to look bright, like you don't want to be matted out or you probably do want to be matted out because you're going to be there for a long time however i would rather rather have a bright primer and my makeup look uh, hang on a sec my makeup look glowing rather than my makeup look really dull and wintry i kind of like a matte primer for the winter because then i know it's going to stay on and i know it doesn't matter if it looks matte because obviously the weather isn't that great but in the summer I do like a brightening primer, so I've just switched over to my brightening primer. So, primer all applied. 
I'm going to move on to our next cream that I use and this is the Mac Strobe Cream Hydration Liquid I think it's called and it's literally just like liquid silver and it makes your skin pop and obviously I'm going to chuck a whole load of this on because it's festival and you want to look like insane so don't be afraid to plow on as much of this as you want I mean you should really selectively choose where you put it but it's festival season I don't care you want that glow that's one thing you have to have at festivals is a glow so I'm just gonna I'm back sorry there's someone at the door so just gonna swivel myself this way and just work this in This NARS Creamy Concealer and my shade is in Light 2 Vanilla. And you want a lighter one because it's an eye primer as well, so you don't want it to be too. I don't want to put it too close to these lashes, but we want to get it as close as possible. Nice to know there's still some product left in here. I'm not really going to carve the brows or anything because I need to do those later. It's just more about getting the face on so it stays on for longer. I'm just going to take this little brush by Real Techniques and we'll just dab this in. I would have used a brush, but I just can't find my brush. I've got loads, but I just can't find the one that I want to use. So we'll go with this one today. I mean, it's a small... Like a little pebble at the end, so it goes on quite well. But obviously, remember that your eyes are really delicate, and under here is as thin as paper, in case you didn't know. So don't be too rough. Okay, so I think we're gonna try and start the eyeshadow. Uh, let me look in here and see if there's a base shade or anything that I can use. I haven't used this in forever. This is the Hollow Gray Collection 2016. Oh my god. I felt like yesterday that I got this. Hang on. I mean, I could use that. Okay, so the palette is really pretty. And let me just do that. I think you can see it. I mean, I think I'm just going to take this shade really quickly and just whack it all on the brush and just whack that all over as our base shade. So I'm taking this one here. Hang on. That one. I'm just going to put it all over my lid. So next I'm going to sort of use a little transition shade, so I'm going to take this one at the furthest in the right, it's a peachy colour, a, a dark peach I think I would call it. I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush and just pack a load on the outer corner of your eye. And I don't normally use this brush, but I think for packing colour on, because it's quite dense, it's really useful. So let's just pack a load of this on. 
it's not neat at all as you can see but it's literally just for colour purposes and I'm just going to blend it <coughs> excuse me so I think I'm done with that for the moment let's just pop that down there I don't want to use that dense brush again but I am just going to take this tiny base shadow brush and blend everything out incredible however like you need the right occasion to use it and I feel like it's the right occasion so let's let's whack it out so I think we're gonna go with or oh, maybe change of plan we'll use the model renaissance first just to get that hair just to get that bit of base colour in there and work with what we've got at the moment. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay mirror though because it's really good. Let's just wipe that off. Use this mirror. So if you see me looking over here, that, that's why. Um, so we are going to just take this base shiny brush again, but it's a clean one. Um, and I'm going to use... I think I'm going to take this burnt orange shade. Now I'm actually hitting pan on this because it's such a nice colour and just pack that in the outer corner of your eye. Got a little bit of colour in there, I'm going to take this Boulon Fresco, Fresco? I don't know. I did do French but God help. So now they're all blended. Oh, it's the base shadow brush again. I have so many of them, what the hell? That is not good. Maybe we'll go purple, green and purple kind of goes, doesn't it? Or blue and, oh, I don't know. Maybe blue? No. Purpley pinkies? I think I'm gonna do these purpley pinky colors and then put a bit of green in. Don't know, let's go with it. So I'm just going to be taking this shade in Jilted and the pigment is insane. So let's just pop this so I wouldn't be happy. So you can see you've got a slight domed effect going on right now. So let's just wipe this off and put this brush to the side. I'm going to take my really, really trusty brush and this is the Spectrum brush and it doesn't have, oh, it's zero... 06 or 606 I'm not too sure I swear by this this is like the ultimate blending brush so you'll probably hear some music just because this will be boring but it'll just be me blending this out And stuff, so let's just oh, hang on a minute. Just get that wipe again, wipe it under there. Done, and uh, we'll keep the wipe here. I think I might be using it a lot. So, we are gonna take this angled shadow brush. This is so we can just put everything together. 
So bear with me one second. It's not going to pick up enough of the stuff. Maybe we just don't carve. Oh my god. No. Stress right now. My mom. So, quite badly, but we have carved this side, so I'm not going to move because don't have enough concealer to sort the rest of it out so we're going to use the same brush which is like a MAC 228 um hmm yellow or blue let's go yellow purple and yellow blue don't they find out in a minute and you're just going to pack this on oh you can't hang on maybe this Oh, my finger might work better. I know this is so wrong. No, concealer is just rubbish. Right, how are we going to work with this then? You obviously have to work fast, which is not fun. Okay, so I hate the yellow. So we're going to have to go back in, maybe with the pink. I'll try and make this work. Ruined it. I've ruined it. Let's go back in with the purple. Oh. So, I'm not happy with this at the moment. I've kind of got rid of the yellow, but I think we're just going to go and do like a yellow liner or something and then do a bit of a pop of a colour under the crease. So, let's try and do this yellow liner. I'm a bit nerve. Right, okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is applying this NYX Vivid Bright liner in the shade Vivid Escape. I thought it was yellow, but it's actually green. It's kind of a vibe though, kind of like it, kind of on board, kind of a thing. Boom, we're there. We're at one with the product yet again. Probably going to go off camera to film this because, you know, it's a bit scary. So I'll see you in a minute. So, I have done the eyeliner. I don't know what you guys think. I've put a little dot there so I can see what I'm doing which is the summer one great so maybe the other one was right after all that yeah so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use a darker shade because it's going to be the summer so it's 2R and I'm just going to whack this on the skin <laughs> after a festival I mean that would be an absolute nightmare wouldn't it can you imagine it would be awful so I've got my base layer on so now we're gonna be moving on to not that you idiot the infallible uh, foundation stick from L'Oreal I swear by these so I'm now concealing with the number 130 and I'm just gonna work some of down the bridge of my nose I'm gonna do a little triangle thing like a bird foot on my forehead um, some here some under my eye I mean you guys must do your concealer all differently so please don't judge but I'm just whacking a load on because you want that to stay on and at a festival. Just gently, well not too gently, but pressing it into the skin to make sure that you get that nice contrast. I do love these sticks because they are unbelievably creamy. And you can go back in with this little foundation brush. 
can just go under the eyeliner to make sure it's all lovely. On the bridge of your nose, up here. The face as I pull, honestly, when I blend my concealer out, is disgusting. So I do apologise. At first you're probably thinking, oh my god, that foundation is way too dark for her. But when you pop this on, blends it all out, it starts to hopefully become a bit more seamless. So let me just... Yeah, I think that's all perfect. I'm then just going to be taking this, which is the shade Toffee. I don't like using the creamy contour for like the rest of my face because I don't like the look that it gives. However, I do like popping it on my nose because it's a lot easier. So we are going to pop some Next to Nothing MAC powder on. I love this Next to Nothing MAC powder because it is literally, it gives you the nicest finish. I'm going to be popping this where I popped the foundation. Just to cover everything and then I'll do some baking in a bit. This is in the shade Medium. Starting to run out of room. I'm going to be taking my Too Faced chocolate bronzer and hang on a second. Using this MAC Rihanna 187 brush. I love this. So, obviously, it's something you're going to want to put a lot of this on just to make sure your skin. It's lovely and glowing so obviously this is not neat at all but we'll go through and make sure it all goes neat and then just in motions of three just so you carve your cheek out so in those motions there we go get rid of this brush and I'm just gonna go in with this expert face brush which has seen better days but still really good Just blend it all out. There's Dexter barking for no reason. So yeah, we have blended all that through. Now I'm just gonna take this tiny little brush and try and blend out my nose contour. I love this brush for contouring, it's the multitask brush and it certainly is very good for multitasking. So I don't know whether, now I've used this to use my bronzer sort of shade, let's just chuck this down here, whether to delve in with the Anastasia contour kit which I haven't used in forever. So I think, I mean it did get its good uses, but I think I might just take the middle shade or, hang on, let me just look at these in the light. Yeah I think the middle, let's try the middle one and just or maybe the end one because it's a bit shimmery and we'll just pop this on the hollows of your cheeks we'll see how it looks so you just want to go in just to carve that out so what I'm doing is I'm just mixing in between these two tapping it out and now making it look more obvious because that gives you the contoured effect and obviously this will wear off when you're traveling down to the festival when you're taking pictures like when you're dancing it's all gonna wear off so you need to pack on as much as you can without it making it look too obvious just brighten up this area and then we're gonna bake so I think I'm quite happy with that. I forgot how much I really liked this palette. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Oh, everything's falling. Let's pop it on the floor. Let's pop that on the floor. So just gonna blend this bit out because I don't, I don't want this bit to be. But I'm quite happy with this at the moment. So let's pop that away. 
I'm now going to be taking the Makeup Forever Professional Powder just to set what we've just done. So I'm going to be taking this Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I love this for powder. Like, it literally carves your skin so well already. Look at that. Literally works a dream. Can you see that? Obsessed. Like, completely obsessed. Just gonna do some on my nose as well because I contoured on my nose. Right, so let's pop this away. We'll wait for all that to settle, obviously. Um, I'm gonna pop some blush on, I think, next. So I'm gonna be taking the Mineralize Skin Finish in Stereo Rose, and I absolutely love this. Like, let me do a swatch for you guys. Can you see that? Literally insane. Let's get that wipe. Then we're taking the Real Techniques blush brush, tapping that out, and then smile. Putting this on the hollows of my cheeks. I might do a like a summer get ready with me because this is the perfect shade for your eyes in the summer. Honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. So sadly, my champagne pop died. So I'm not gonna be using that. I'm gonna be using my new Chanel Soleil de Tan or whatever it's called, because it's, uh, I do like it. So let's just tip and see whether, I think that's what you have to do. Oh, hang on, maybe I need to shake it. I think, whoa. Can we shake it? Oh, you can hear the thing going around there we are beautiful so pop two bits on your fingers and then just can you see that glow uh, I don't know where else I want to put it because we're going to be putting like glitter on so I don't really know I think that's we're going to leave it at that for that. And I will finish with this. We want the... Let's use this. And just blend it nicely with the tip of this. Just so that you can follow it up your cheek. Otherwise it's not going to go too great I don't think. Oh, by the way, oh, this is popping. By the way, let me know and comment down below if you think that I should get like a camera or something to film because I think that might be really exciting. So the next thing we are going to do is eyebrows. My brows. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown. I'm actually get it off, there we go. Mine's a bit butchered, but Let's just see. I'm just going to turn over here. I'm not being rude. I'm just going to do... Or maybe if I just open this hand on, this might be a bit easier. This is easier. Bear with.
under the eye eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is this. I think this in Jilted I'm going to use. Obviously ignore my face when I put this on. But I must say this is like the first bold makeup look I've ever done. I think it's kind of a vibe. Let me know if you guys want to see There's more stuff like this. Hang on a sec, let me just grab some more brushes. I mean, I can't find any more clean brushes, so I know this is all kinds of wrong. I'm just gonna go in with this. there right so I'm gonna take the end and just quickly pop it in the silver silver or should we go with like hang on maybe we should go with this color no let's go with the silver so we just I don't want to ruin it, that's the problem. The brush is still really pink. Let's try again now. That's a bit better. So let's go in with the silver and just pop this on the inner corner of your eye. And then we're just going to put some of it in for highlight because it's a festival so you need to shine honeys, you need to shine. Even though it might be a bit extra, we are a bit extra on this channel. As you know. So, eyebrow highlight is done. Thank you.